gut feeling and some really good common sense that this has to come to an end. And the problem is that by coming to the population, the population needed to understand that they are backed by solid science. And that is where people like myself, Dr. Hodkinson, Dr. Poness, etc., have come forward because we know 100% of the science is behind the trucker. The Canadian trucker is backed by solid, solid science, not the government positions. That these, these vaccine mandates have no scientific or medical basis and must be stopped now. The mandates must be lifted tomorrow. The carnage that's going on out there with our children is indescribable. As Dr. Alexander stated, the evidence medically is overwhelming. I'm not going to list it at this moment. All I am saying is that there's a degree of exasperation that the world must understand listening to this. Canada has been put forward as the epicenter of a major change in how things are run. It's going to transform the usual institutions of politics, of medicine, of law, and the media in ways that we cannot predict. But major changes are coming. And not only that, but we are being watched. We are seeing democracy challenged. And the Chinese are watching us. Make no mistake, this is a moment in history where there's a tremendous amount on the table. Not just vaccination schedules, but the very existence that we want our children to inherit. With that said, I would like to pass over to Jeff. my friend here, Jeff, as to what's happening on the ground tonight here in Ottawa. Thank you. Thank you. I know that the mainstream, sorry, the legacy media has been putting out all sorts of information, states of emergency, riotous activity, unruly, unlawful gatherings of people in this city right now. If you are attuned to that, it may bring anxiety, it may bring stress, it may heighten fear or concern for loved ones that maybe you know are here supporting this. But we assure you, this entire organization, it's not just a movement, it is an organization of dedicated, focused individuals who are standing unwavering. There are no ruffled feathers in this room or amongst this team. We have worked with local law authority and government to keep this exactly what we have intended it to be. It is a peaceful demonstration. We have complied by opening up access roads on every road that we have accessed or parked on with trucks and support vehicles. That was done to ensure that EMS would be able to respond to the concerns and the safety of the citizens of Ottawa and also the safety and any concerns of the people who are here supporting this movement. We have worked repeatedly with law enforcement agencies to try to bring humane conditions to the people that are peacefully demonstrating. Washroom facilities, maintenance of those washroom facilities, and we have yet to get a solidified response to bring those deserved conditions to this peaceful demonstration. We are currently going to see legacy media streaming images of the police making arrests. They're currently treating this now with catchphrases, occupation, terrorism, and all sorts of very low level commentary to try to sway people's opinion. They're currently out in the streets of Ottawa and they are arresting people on charges of mischief for transporting fuel in proper containers in order to supply the people here for a peaceful demonstration to allow their vehicles to stay warm. If you've been following the media, the real media, the one you're watching right now, these are families. They have children with them. They have no intention 
of reacting negatively to anything that is going on. This is peace, it is love, and it is absolute unity. Good evening. Thank you to all of you who uh, tuned in. I just want to say shortly that I just returned from Coventry. Coventry, for those of you who don't know, is one of our major uh, locations that we have a lot of families, a lot of trucks, we have a lot of supplies. We have extremely high morale. Uh, approximately two hours ago, Ottawa police have uh, showed up in a, in a very aggressive show of force. There was uh, probably over a hundred police officers in uh, tactical gear with snipers on the roof. And I'm very pleased to report that all of our truckers, all of our families kept their composure. It was extremely peaceful. They came in, they took the fuel, which was their intent. Their intent was to come in, confiscate the fuel that we have, that was donated or purchased to be distributed for the trucks. However, I'm pleased to say that that has no impact on our ability to continue operations whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely inconsequential, and I would offer that I believe it was a very critical mistake on their part. It had no impact on our operations, but it certainly raised morale within the the uh, occupants, or I, excuse me, the people that are at Coventry. And I'm not gonna take a bow, but I'm very, very proud of the way our truckers conducted themselves.